Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and it is March 1st which means it is time for a new sheet load of cards. I hope you'll stick around, see the new sketch, see the first set I made and find out how you can download the printable for free. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel and you're going to want to download the free printable, make sure to click on that subscribe button below and while you're there, maybe ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. The first of the month always means it is time for me to share a new sheet load of cards with you. Don't forget, as always, as a subscriber to my channel, this is a free printable for you to download. Now, I will tell you later on in the video how to do that, but before that, I want to talk to you a little bit about this month's sketch. I'm gonna give you a couple tips and show you the very first set that I made. Now, if you're new to sheet load of cards, what I do each month is put out a two page PDF where I give you a sketch to use, and then I give you the supplies you'll need to make a sheet load of cards. This is usually anywhere between about six and 12 cards, and I try to give you cutting guides so you can cut your paper or punch it in the most economic way. Now, as always, if you like the sketch and you only want to make one, I do always give the single dimensions as well as some alternatives or different ways you could use the sketch. Now this month, March, 2021, with two pieces of pattern paper, three card stocks and 12 card bases, you're gonna yield 12 cards. Yes, 12. As always, if you want to change something up about the card, like for instance, if this is too large for your sentiment or your image, or you want a different shape there, you are free to do that. Change this in any way. Sheet load is just about getting you started creating. You'll see in my first set that I made that I did make the circle smaller and instead of a die cut element here, I put the sentiment there. If you do make a sheet load of cards or even a sheet load single, I would love for you to share it with me and show us your sheet load. Each month, I love to see what you create using the latest sheet load of cards. And there are three ways that you can share with us via YouTube, Instagram, or you can send in the card for the end of the month feature. I do have a video linked in that description box below with all of the show us your sheet load guidelines. Don't forget if you are going to show us your sheet load on YouTube or Instagram that you're going to want to use the hashtags that I provide at the top of each page. That way I can just do a search and find those. Now speaking of showing us your sheet load, yesterday I shared the February show us your sheet load and if you haven't watched it yet, I hope you'll go do that. At the end of the video, I had a package come in that almost brought me to tears. The video was already filled with lovely cards, lovely messages, lovely gifts, but at the end, seriously, I had to stop for probably 10 minutes before I could come back and continue. So I hope you'll check that out. I will link that in the description box as well. This month's sketch is pretty simple. There's just a couple pattern papers and a border strip and then your focal point. Like I mentioned before, you are free to change this in any way. You might want to rotate the sketch, turn it upside down, that's up to you. Now a couple things I do want to point out before I come back tomorrow with the process video, which you can actually see me put a set together. If you are going to go ahead and get started, make note that this little border strip, CS1B, I have a special note that I have you originally cut this piece to four and a quarter by one inch and then use a border punch to get a decorative edge. If you do not want a decorative edge, that is completely fine. But if I were you, I would go ahead and cut it to four and a quarter by a half an inch just so it's a little bit smaller. Now, if you don't have border punches, you could always use decorative scissors, a decorative trimmer, a border die, Whatever you have in your arsenal, that's what you can use. And also at the bottom here, I do have some rounded corners, but if you don't have a corner rounder or you don't want to round those, you don't have to. That is totally up to you. 
Page two of the PDF, as always, has the cutting guides. You will notice that you are going to be doing some die cutting or punching. Now, if you don't have circle die cuts or circle punches and you want a circle, you could always trace something in your house that's about the correct size that you need and cut it out. Or you can just go with rectangles or squares. Also, for the sentiment piece, CS2, you do not have to use a brand new piece of cardstock. If you have scraps that you can use, use those up. That would be a great idea, and then save this piece for something else later. Before I show you the first set of cards I made, let me show you the main products that I used. A couple weeks ago, I had a subscriber ask me about a masculine sheet load of cards. Now I have shared one previously in the past. I will link that in the description box if you wanna check it out. But honestly, it's not something I do a whole lot. I went to my local scrapbook store, which is Busy Scrappin' here in Omaha, and I spent some time looking around for papers that seemed more appropriate for a card to give to a guy in your life. They had sports and they had hunting and fishing. I decided to go though with a nautical theme. So I grabbed a couple papers from Authentique's collection Voyage. And if I can find it online, I will link it in the description box below. But I'm honestly not sure how old this is or if it's still in production. But I loved the oars here on this first pattern paper. And then I just paired it with a red and white stripe from that same collection. I almost forgot to bring in one of the stamp sets I used, but sharing with you about the oars reminded me about it. For my focal point, I use this stamp set from Inka Dinka Do, and I just use a couple different sailboats on each of those. Now I realize oars and sailboats don't really go together, but I was sticking with that nautical theme for these. For my sentiments, because I wanted a wide variety, I got out this old Cornish Heritage Farm set and it has a saying for just about every occasion. You have birthday, wedding, anniversary, congratulations, baby, just happy day, new home, welcome. So this is definitely handy to have. And this would be a great idea if you wanted to give a set of cards to a friend to use. And instead of actually putting the sentiments onto the card, you could just make them various tags that they could add later with some adhesive. For my image and sentiment, I use two Gina K Designs ink spots. I use cherry red and in the navy. And for my die cut circles, I use both of my Spellbinders nestability sets. These are the circles in small and large. Besides my pattern papers that I chose, the cardstocks I use for my sentiment, I chose an off-white cardstock because the background of this is about that same shade, and I thought white would be too much of a contrast. For my border strip and mat for my circle, I got out kind of a navy blue. It matched some of the blue in the oars. And then finally for my cardstock, I chose craft. I thought that this would be a nice switch from my regular white card bases. And in the oars, there are shades of brown as well. Let's see that first set. I hope you enjoyed that close-up look at my first set of cards for March 2021. Now I'm going to let you know how you can download the printable for free. First of all, remember I do ask that you're a subscriber to my channel. We do just go on the honor system here, so make sure before you click the link that you are subscribed. If not, it's just as easy as clicking that button below this video. Once you do open that link, you can print it, you can view it on screen, whichever you prefer. And even though I usually print mine in color, it will work just as fine in black and white.
Now, next to the link, there will be a little message about watch to the end of the video for a password. But as I've discussed before, as long as you're watching this whole video to find out how to download the file, that is your password or your way to get to that link. All the way down at the bottom of the description box below is a link to the March 2021 PDF. I can't wait to see what you create this month. Don't forget to show us your sheet load. And until tomorrow, which I'll be back with the process and my collaborators, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.